Hi guys, Mittens here from the Kingdom of Polaris. This video is part of a series of tutorials to complete a reversible tabard. In this video, I will be showing you the step-by-step -step process for appliquing, so let's jump right into it. Before we begin, let's take a look at our materials. Make sure whatever design you want to appliquate is reversed. I will show you later why this is so important. You also need the basics, scissors, thread, two different colors of fabric, and probably most importantly, fusible webbing and stabilizer. For this project, I am using the symbol for Conjuration Magic from the Elder Scrolls video games. My tabard is a reversible red and black, so I will be using black fabric for the symbol on the red side of my tabard. Here I have cut a piece of black fabric that I will be transferring the symbol onto. To do this, I will be using fusible webbing. It's essentially a paper that has glue on the back of it. I can trace out my design on the papery side, then I can use the heat from my iron to bond the adhesive to the fabric. Here I am tracing out my design with the fusible webbing placed over the image. I am making sure that I am tracing on the papery side. Now that it's been traced, I can iron the image onto my black fabric. When ironing, I do not want to use steam, since this can have an adverse effect on the adhesive. It only takes a few seconds to bond the fusible webbing to the fabric. Once the fusible webbing has been ironed on and given a chance to cool, you can cut out your design. Then, carefully peel off the paper backing. The adhesive webbing should remain on your fabric. This will allow you to iron your image onto your main body of fabric. At this point, you can orient the image on your main body of fabric and iron it down. Again, avoid using steam. This step takes a little longer to ensure the two fabrics have bonded. Additionally, you will see that the image is now facing the correct way. Now it's time to grab your stabilizer. I use a tearaway, papery stabilizer for many of my applique projects. I need to cut just enough to fit under my image as I sew to keep the fabric from shifting, puckering, or catching in my machine. While it is not essential for applique, it will make your project stitch out a lot smoother and have an overall more professional look. When placing your stabilizer, make sure to put it directly under the image you will be appliquing. Since this tabard is reversible and has two layers, I need to place it under just the red fabric. Next, I need to pin the stabilizer to the fabric, making sure to only pin the red fabric. This does not need to be precise, I just need to place a few pins that will keep the stabilizer beneath the image I intend to applique. Here is a quick peek at my machine and the settings I have for it. I realize that my sewing machine may look very different from yours, but there are a few basics that will hopefully be relevant for you. First, make sure your stitch setting is on the zigzag stitch. Next, make the distance between your stitches fairly narrow. Mine is set to just under 2, and the width of my stitches is set around 3. Play around with your machine till you find something you are happy with. Here you can see that I have two pieces of fabric and a piece of stabilizer that I will be testing my stitches on. I am trying to replicate the same materials and thickness I will be stitching with my final product to get the most accurate stitch. I want to have my settings planned out before I work on my final piece. Now it's finally time to applique. I have my image ironed onto my tabard, stabilizer has been pinned to just the red fabric, and the black fabric has been pushed out of the way. Here you can see I've lined my sewing foot up with the edge of my image. When appliquing, you want to try to stitch as close to the edge of the fabric as possible. This will secure the most fabric in the thread, creating a stronger bond. And that's all there is to it! Thank you for watching, and good luck with your own sewing projects!